We've just done a short explanation for three-phase metering and the importance of using a vector sum meter in the installation. In the UK, many different types of three-phase meters are present from your energy supplier. They have to be set to be vector sum, meaning they will add the sum of import and export. If they're not set correctly, it will have an impact on your customer's energy bill. Here's the explanation. Obviously have a four kilowatt inverter here, generating four kilowatts, but the home is only using three. Without anything here, we'll actually have three kilowatts going out on that same phase that the inverter was on, and it will be quite happily pulling two kilowatts in on L3, matching the loads. There would be a sum export of one kilowatt, which is where we add a battery. That battery will see that there is one kilowatt going out to the grid and it will pull it in into the battery, therefore keeping the vector sum meter at zero. It would still be exporting two kilowatts out on L1 and you'd be pulling the same two kilowatts in on L3, leaving the vector sum meter to be zero import. Example, when the uh, solar is at night, the uh, inverter is obviously not producing anything. Uh, matching the four kilowatts in the home, our battery will deliver four kilowatts to cover the home load. In this case, it will actually mean that three kilowatts is going out on L1, one kilowatt coming in on L2, and two kilowatts coming in on L3. Again, meaning the net sum export import of the vector sum meter is zero. That follows all the way through uh, today as a three phase inverter. Most of them will uh, equal, send out three kilowatts onto each phase. Um, even though the home load is unequal with three, one and one, total is five, nine kilowatts being produced would mean that the four is going back out to the grid. Um, two would be going out on L2 and two would be going out on L3 and L1 would be equal because the three for that circuit and three that the battery is giving is zero. So the net export would be four. Add the battery, we want to take that surplus into the battery four, but because it's a three phase system, we've got one battery connected here. This would be four kilowatts being pulled in on L1, two kilowatts going out on L2, and two kilowatts going out on L3 still equaling net sum export of zero. So just to fly through, exactly the same as we have three batteries, one on each of the phases, same situation applies that we're trying to have three, four, five, six kilowatts here. Each of the batteries would be exporting two kilowatts to match the home load. In this case, it would mean one kilowatt is going out on L1 and one kilowatt is coming in on L3, but the vector sum meter will be zero. All the way up to nine batteries um, on a three-phase system, each battery will be passing out 15 kilowatts here because each battery can uh, give up to five. Uh, I've made the math nice and easy here so that we can add up 15, 17 and 13. Matching the 15, 15 and 15, we would have nothing happening on L1, two kilowatts coming in on L2, and two kilowatts going out on L3. The importance of a vector sum meter is now obvious to all. Whenever we're fitting in the UK, please make sure that your uh, three phase meter is set to vector sum. Uh, in a domestic environment, this is free of charge from the energy company to be replaced, but on a commercial premises with three phase, it can be chargeable by the energy supplier. Hope that understands uh, the importance of vector sum for the UK. Uh, do contact your account manager or myself, Jerry Hamilton, if you would like to know any further details. Thank you.